by the end of this video, you're going to want to tear up all of the goals that you set for the new year. I'm Clarissa and you're watching She Rocks at College, where college women come to learn how to get better grades without the stress, overwhelm, and lack of social life. If you've already set your goals for the new year, I'm going to give you a reason to scrap them all. Not because I don't think that your goals are good enough or because they suck, but because if you haven't asked yourself these five questions before you've written your goals, you're going to find yourself feeling unfulfilled and lost by the end of the year. So let's jump right on into the question with question number one. Over the past year or semester, did I feel feelings that I didn't want to feel? And what were some of the things that happened, things I experienced that caused those feelings. I see a lot of students setting goals because it's what other people expect out of them, or it's what you're supposed to do, or because you don't know what you really want out of life and your friends set that goal, so you might as well too. But this is the quickest way to find yourself in a life that you absolutely hate. Questions like this help us identify what we don't want to experience in the coming month, year, or quarter. And they provide us with contrasts that we can use to start identifying the things that we actually might want to experience. Question number two. Over the past year, did I feel the way that I wanted to feel? And what were some experiences or situations that helped me to feel that way? Now we're getting into the things, experiences, people, situations that bring us joy. Things that we actually want to bring into this new phase of our life. And we can start identifying some of the things that bring up really good feelings of excitement and passion and um, just joy that we might potentially want to start creating some goals around and be intentional about. Question number three, what do I want to be, do, and have over the next year? Here's where I want you to dream without judgment. I want you to write everything down that you want to experience, people that you want to meet, things that you want to see, do, eat, <laughs> touch anything that you want to accomplish over the next year. And I want you to notice what you write down when there's no judgment, when there aren't other people telling you what you should want, when there aren't other outside sources influencing the things that you want to experience. What you'll start to notice is that a lot of the things that you write down are things that you might have not written down had you not gone through the other questions and these are things that you actually value and that you find important to living a fulfilled life. Question number four, if I were to accomplish and experience all of the things that I just wrote down in question three, how would that change me as a person and also impact everything else that's a part of my life? How would it change me mentally? physically, emotionally, spiritually? How would it impact my finances? How would it impact the things that I bring into my life, the things that come into my ether if I were to actually accomplish all of these things? And finally, here's question number five. Now, I personally think that this question is the most powerful question that you can ask yourself. Who do I need to become to accomplish all of these things and live the life that brings me joy. What would you have to believe about yourself? Believe about your world, believe about your college, believe about the people who come into your world. What thoughts would you have to think about yourself, about your skills, about what you can do? What habits would you have to create? The person that accomplishes all the things that you wrote down what do they do every single day? What do they say to themselves every single day? What things do they put their time and focus on and what things do they cut out? Who would you need to hang out with? What books would you need to read? What skills would you need to develop in order to become the person who lives the life that you said you wanted to live this upcoming year? 
These are the same five questions that I have been asking myself over the past three years. And it's the reason why I'm so freaking in love with my life. And it's the reason why this past year in 2017, the most incredible things happened to me. Like I got engaged and married all within a five month period. I launched study school and had the most incredible group of freaking college women that I have ever had the privilege to work with. We paid for our wedding in cash. I bought a new car in cash. It was used, but it was a new car to me and it was all in cash. I paid off way more debt than I have over my whole debt-free journey, all because I asked myself these questions. Now, these questions I compiled from different mentors from afar that I've had, such as Danielle Laporte, who wrote the book, The Desire Map. Uh, people like Marie Forleo, Shalene Johnson, Tony Robbins, Danny Johnson, Oprah. The reason why you have to ask yourself these questions before you go out and pick and set goals for the upcoming year or even your upcoming semester is because it allows you time to reflect, to really come in tune with yourself, to understand who you are as a person and create goals from that place so that the goals that you pick will actually line up with the kind of life that you want to live. Now, I want to know which one of these five questions was your favorite and what did it bring up for you? What did it help you learn about yourself? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm going to be sharing some of my responses with you in the comments and I would love it if you would share yours with me. Now, if you like this video, I am going to invite you to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be giving so many more tips on how to live your best life academically, study skills as always, and other things that I feel would help you live the best academic life that you can possibly live. So subscribe by clicking the icon with my face on it. Until next time, friends. Bye.